What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you my first impressions of Expeditions Rome. Now I did do a checkout video a little while back talking about the game a little bit, however this, for starters, is access to the full game whereas the checkout video was more about the demo that was available. I also like to review games after I 100% them, which takes a while, so I like to release these little first impressions videos to kind of put some info out there and kind of just give a general feel for a game before I actually review the whole thing. And personally, I kind of like seeing how my opinion evolves from the start of a game versus actually finishing all the content, etc. But that said, Expeditions Rome did launch yesterday. It is currently $45 on Steam, and in it we take on the role of a Roman Legatus, or at least will soon be a Roman Legatus, as the tutorial of the game kind of takes a couple hours and eventually sees you rising to that role. First impressions wise, the game is basically a cross between a tactical RPG and a more traditional CRPG, which has been a lot of fun for me personally. So while the game is primarily centered around, of course, the tactical combat as well as the actual war campaigns and navigating those and conquering territory, etc., at the same time, as you do those things, you will be going about and actually performing quests, side quests, gearing out your party, recruiting party members, hiring mercenaries versus companions, etc. The companions actually have little side quests for you to take as well. They're romanceable. All of this against the backdrop of the Roman Empire. Now, I will say, while it is, of course, obviously based on the Roman Empire and the things that happened, it plays very fast and loose with historical accuracy. So if you're going into this expecting some historically accurate recounting of Rome, then this isn't for you because that's not what this is. Now, while the overall presentation of the game has been a lot of fun, I will say that the big battles between your army and other armies as you take over cities and things are a bit underwhelming and convoluted, honestly. So you have your uh, legion, which has a set amount of soldiers who you can you know, then pit against other armies in various cities. But the actual battles take place over this sort of almost text event style battle where you'll choose stratagems that are available depending on what you've researched. And it will also use the centurions, which are basically mercenaries that you aren't using in your party, to act as generals. And they will use their perks and things to help in the battle, which will help with various types of attacks, which helps with the appropriate stratagems and everything. It just, it seems really cool, but actually playing it out in this, again, just kind of little lackluster battle system they made for the army fights is just kind of underwhelming, frankly. But the actual strategy part where you're navigating the map, taking over various resources on the map, using those resources to upgrade your outpost, which is wherever you happen to have your legion garrison to then do more things for you, like gives you access to a forge to make more weapons or special weapons for your Praetorians, which is your actual guard. That is to say your party. That part of it I really like. Specifically the army battles that go along with the strategy part I'm not a huge fan of right here at the beginning. But the tactical combat is actually a ton of fun. So I play a bunch of turn-based CRPGs and this is more of the same. But what I really like here is some of the systems that they've layered on top of each other like the armor system and the shield system, the shields will actually deflect arrows. In addition, they also block initial melee damage. And every turn or so, that character will have a shield. If they lose all of their shield points in a turn, they can only regain so many on the next turn. However, arrows won't really affect a shield at all, so you can't target a shielded character with an archer until someone takes their shield down, which can be done through a variety of means. And that's before we even get into the armor system, which just reduces damage until the armor gets shredded by abilities, etc. And overall, as a tactical RPG, there's a lot to love here. And as someone who loves CRPGs, there's also a lot to love here. And my first impression is honestly just that. I'm surprised at how much this game marries both of those ideas together in what has so far been a very fun experience. Now I will say there are a few things that I wish were a little better telegraphed. For instance, you can loot enemy corpses. However, like your cursor or anything does not change when you kill enemies and you hover over their corpse to see if they would be lootable. There's no like cursor change, nothing indicates that you might be able to loot that person. But if you actually click on them, Yes, you can in fact loot items off of their corpse, so like just little stuff like that could be a bit more intuitive. But without rambling on forever and saving some for the eventual review after 100% once I get done with this, my initial impression of the game is pretty positive, albeit there are a few little specific nitpicky things that I'm not a huge fan of. But otherwise, so far it's been a fun experience. So, thank you so much for watching, may you wander in wisdom, and have an amazing day.